All right, guys, welcome to the 43rd ever episode of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly, Low Key. Got John here with me. Yo, you already yo. know how to fuck a rocket, man. We're back with another episode. We appreciate everybody that likes, subscribe, shared, and hit that notification bell, man. We appreciate it for real, for real. I don't remember, at a thousand subscribers, man, we're going to have a giveaway, so let us know what you guys want to see as giveaway. But, um, yeah, man, we're back with another episode, guys. Off man. rip, I'm going to let you know I am litty like a titty. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah, fucking, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm rip, feeling, bro. Yeah, we're feeling good. We're feeling right, man. Like, like always, bro. Like, like always. Facts. But, yeah, man, we're back with another episode. John, how you feeling, bro? Man, I'm feeling lit, man, you know? I'm feeling nice. It's been a good day. It was a good weekend, man. I celebrated yeah, my facts. birthday and shit. You know, facts, it was yeah. great. I had a good time. Uh, man, beautiful. Facts, I could bro. Ask Bless, man. Yeah, for Bless. Blessed to see another, you know, another year. Twenty-five, talk, man. Bro. Yeah, getting man. Old, a lot old. of people don't make it to twenty-five. Yeah. Real talk. Nah, for real. That's true. Real talk. So, That's but true. yeah, man. Jumping right into it, bro. Growing up, a lot of us, you know. We had some good parents, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> we had good parents. Like, I feel like, you know, both of our moms and shit, they were good parents and yeah. shit. But they didn't always get me what the fuck I wanted whenever I was a kid, bro. Nah, and that's nah. something that I see more often in today's generation where it's like they get a lot of shit. They're entitled, you know. They're, They're spoiled a little bit. Yeah. And it's like. I want it and I want it now. Yeah, it's you like when I mean? we were kids, bro, how was it with you? You know nah. what I'm saying? Like, did your mom get you shit? Did she, you know. Oh, man, to be honest, like. Yeah. Like if I deserved it, you know what I mean. Like she, that's that's kind of like the main part. Like she, yeah, she's like, facts. yo, if you deserve it, you know what I'm saying. You've been good. Yeah, man, I'm gonna take care of you. But like, you can't get every every time we go to the store, we can't, you know, buy you something, bro. Facts, like, bro. Just don't touch it. Like nah, you know. Talk. And if I touched it, I get my ass whooped. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Nah, nah, nah. Facts. So yeah, that's how it was with my mom too, bro. If it was if it was a reasonable price, and I was you know I was getting decent grades and shit like that, I was doing good in school. She would, you know what I'm saying? She worked with me, bro. Yeah, she'll she, show some love. You know, she'll, she'll work with me, but yeah, nowadays it's crazy, man. Nah. People giving their kids anything and everything they want, they wonder why they don't want to listen by the age of fucking 13. Yeah, it's by like, the bro. age of 13, 18, whatever, man. Those, man, look. if you don't listen, man, I'm telling you, bro, you got to listen to your parents, bro, growing up. Facts. I'm That's a big you, they, fact. They want the best for you, bro. You know, you they don't, really do, bro. Yeah. And sometimes you don't see it that way, but... They just been through shit that you haven't been through that they don't feel like explaining to you. <laughs> they don't feel like explaining it to you, but they just, they're letting you know, like, bro, like, you might not want to do that. You might want to do this. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of us don't fucking listen. I didn't listen. I yeah. didn't always listen. I listen more now than I did before. There's a lot but of things. But it's just getting older, bro. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. By the years, you, you kind of just learn over the years. And some people don't. That is what it is, but. Yeah. Yeah. Hey man, that's up to you to learn or it's not. A lot. It's either, Real talk. Yeah, the senses, man. You know. Real talk. But, but yeah. talk about senses, man. Like Ooh, the way that animals, that you know, yeah. animals sense shit sometimes. You know what I'm saying? And they, the way they see shit and the way they're connected to the earth is different, bro. Like yeah. that's why you have fucking elephants. You know what I'm saying? That'll take up, take off up a mountain. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get away from a tsunami that nobody even knows is coming. Yeah. You know. <laughs> You see this giant. You see all these herds of animals just coming through the valley, like, <laughs> like you got fucking pelicans and flamingos flying. Like, bitch, we, why are they, we don't even pelicans have flamingos and here. Flamingos. I don't even think they live on the same part of the earth. You know what I mean? Like they, <laughs> but you see them. They they going up mountains and shit. Nah, birds fact, hiding. Like, how, man, we don't have those senses, man. Like, we, we're, we're not connected with the yeah, earth. Yeah, we're not connected with yeah. the earth anymore, bro. And that's what it is, like. Yeah. I'm pretty sure, you know, back in the day, people call it, like, witchcraft or whatever they call it. But, nah, I feel like they were just more in tune with the earth and what was really going on in the universe. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's true. Real talk. And that's now, true. today, we're, you know, we're we're busy trying to get a new car, a new house, a new fucking this, a new that. We're trying to come up in life. We don't give a fuck. Well, guess what? We got a whole tsunami coming in a Facts. couple months. You better, be, <laughs> you better be ready or thousands of people are going to yeah, die. Yeah, I'll tell you what, nigga. And you won't have a say job. say that shit, bro. God forbid, bro. Real nah. talk. But yeah, no, nah, animals are fucking amazing, bro. That's why I love... I'll trust the dog before I trust the person. As weird as that yeah. may be. So that's why, yeah, it's like, they could tell. They could tell if you're a good person or not for some reason. It's weird. Like, they, like they'll growl at you. Like, yeah, dogs can't... They're not good actors. Nah. Like, if they don't like you, they're not gonna act like they like you. They, they'll show you, like, yeah. bro, don't touch me. Yeah, like. they, they won't <laughs> wag their tail. They'll look at you like... <laughs> 
bro. Like, you touch me, I bite you. Nah, like, facts, bro. bro. Animals are sincere, man. And that's why it's important to have them around. Because mm-hmm. animals are way, way too sincere. Very, very sincere. But yeah, man. Moving on to something a little bit more serious, bro. What if fear was not a factor and you couldn't fail at life? Put that into perspective. That's like that book, bro. I forgot what it was called, but it's like everybody was the like everybody was the same. And if you were different, like you would probably like just end up being dead or <laughs> like they'll throw you in a chamber somewhere. Like God it, damn. Yeah, it's crazy, man. But like that's crazy. If so, if no one would ever like they would never fail. That's basically what you're saying. Right. Damn. Then life would never be the same. I feel like it would be boring as fuck. It would be just be gray, black and gray. You get bored of winning. Let's be real, bro. Yeah. Like, like you ever been <laughs> playing any type of game and like you, you win went, five times in your in a row? You're like, you know what? I'm gonna go eat. Yeah. Y'all keep playing and figure yeah. it out. It's like the championship. They get tired of winning. They let yeah, you win. Yeah, it's like, get the fuck yeah. out of here, bro. Like, take it. Th- you win. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I already no, did my job. No, nah, for real, bro. Nah, that's crazy. Yeah, that would be a boring. Then there would be no fucking sports. Yeah, bro. There would be no nothing. But there's people that live with that mentality, even though they don't always win. Yeah. But they're like, oh, I didn't lose. I learned something. It's all about perspective. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's all about how you think that's about true. shit. That's true. You deep. know what I'm saying? So that's it's deep. like... Yeah, man. That's deep. Nah, man. Yeah, that would be boring as fuck. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I wouldn't want to live in a world where everybody was the same, bro. I'd be the stupidest shit ever, bro. Ever in the world. I'd fuck be that. dumb as fuck. <laughs> no, for real, for real. But, but yeah, bro. Yeah. What's something that most people learn only after it's too late? Mm. I'd say how to love. How to love. <laughs> yeah, that was Bruh, it. Real shit. Yeah, nah, Lil Wayne that, nah, facts. Yo, Lil Wayne was, he went hard on that shit. Yo, that nigga fucking killed that shit, bro. That's a classic. Nah, for real. That's a classic. Was, but nah, dead yeah. ass. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like it's how to love, bro. Man. Like, a love. lot of people, they'll, <laughs> they'll let the wrong person go fucking up. And then they'll learn how to love later and be like, damn! I remember back in the day when I dated Susie. I remember Susie, my nah. high school sweetheart. Nah. You're in your 40s, drunk out of bar and shit, yeah. mad as fuck. You're mad as shit because you <laughs> fucked up. Nah, man, nah, that's, that's true. Love, love, that's the first thing I thought of, too, was love. Yeah, facts. Yeah, because, man, it's so easy to fuck it up. It really is. It really is, bro. It's so easy to fuck it up. Just like that, boom. Yeah, and that's one of those things where it's like once you fuck up your trust with somebody, it's like that yeah. that shit takes time, it bro. Takes I don't know like, what what yeah. the fuck people say. And then personally, me personally, I don't think you could ever really trust somebody like that again. That's just me personally. And that's forgiveness too, bro. I feel like like forgiving is like very hard. And you ever see those people that's that That's my problem. Yeah. I don't forgive yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like Rick Ross. God <laughs> forgives and I don't. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Fuck that! Nah, nah, dead ass though. Nah, but like know, I need, I need help with that. I sometimes. see those people trying to like. I, I'll be watching on YouTube sometimes, whatever, just weird ass videos. And I, next thing you know, it's like some random ass shit. You don't even know how you got there, but you're watching it. No, one fair. of those videos. Bruh. <laughs> and bro, I see, a, I see a guy. I guess like he's in a courtroom, and yeah, like I guess the killer that killed his son, whatever. He was there. He's like, yo, you know, I forgive you. I was like, yeah, man, there's some things that I can't. Forgive, I bro. forgive you. I forgive you for killing my son. Nah. I can't. No. Nah. I can't do that. Like, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I, Jesus, I couldn't even put myself in that mindset because I don't want to put myself in that mindset because that's crazy shit to think about. But yeah, shit like that happens. I would think that I couldn't forgive somebody. No, I don't think so either. That's yeah. that's a little bit too much. Yeah, that's yeah. excessive. Yeah. That's excessive. I've seen sure. some crazy shit on YouTube, man. I don't know how I got there, but it just fucking happened. Yo, YouTube is a rabbit hole, dog. <laughs> You're like, yo, I'm gonna have a midnight snack and fucking listening about this tribe from the Amazon for five minutes. And then that five minute video will send you to another five minute video and before you know it. <laughs> You're, you're watching, fucking watching videos yeah. about the dark web, and you're like, what the <laughs> fuck is going on next, in my life? Next thing you know, you find out all the history we learned is all bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> fucking all the presidents are pedophiles. <laughs> <laughs> and fucking, <laughs> and fucking no, I don't know. Too, some you crazy. can find a video for fucking anything, bro. Some like, crazy, it's crazy cra- as fuck, bro. Crazy wild shit. Crazy shit. But yeah, bro. 
right. Is it possible to be anything you want to be? No. I think everybody I is meant to be what they're supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> if you are a worker, you are a worker. Not fact. If you are a boss, you're a boss. You're a boss. But if you're a creative person, then you're creative. You're an artist. Yeah, if you're an artist, you're an artist, bro. You know, God doesn't give everybody the same fucking gift. Real shit, bro. That's true, because you got barbers. You know, I can't cut. You know what I'm saying? I could probably learn, but he may have, like, a gift gift. (laughs) Yeah. It just comes natural. Exactly. You know, he doesn't have to try. Facts. Yeah. It's just, it's, that's what he does. Yeah, that's just what he is, man. And, uh, because I suck at math. You know what I mean? Bro, I could I suck at math, bro. <laughs> yeah, nah, bro. I'm I'm trash. I'm trash at math. I would never be able to become a mathematician or whatever the fuck they call that shit. Nah, but I'm pretty good at reading. You know what I mean? Like, this, yeah, this, like this, you could this, train this. yourself to do certain things, bro. But yeah, I don't think like I don't think that anybody could just become the president. I don't give a fuck how hard you work. Yeah, nigga, no, you can't live in this White House. Nah, cause, <laughs> cause, cause <laughs> no, it, nah, because in this world we can't have. A shitty pilot. We have to have a good pilot every time. You know what I mean? Like one of those type of like like. Are you call? Are you okay? So are you saying the country is the airplane and we need a good president? We need a good pilot. Yeah, that's exactly. It's like a every president has been shitty. You know? No, I'm talking about like you. There's just some things that, like some jobs, like the fucking pilot. We need a good pilot at all times. We can't have no shitty ass. It's one of those type of jobs. You know what I mean? Like. Nah, yeah. You see what I'm nah, saying? Nah, like, yeah. It's an important job, bro. Yeah, but like, yeah. I, I don't know, bro. I, I be thinking about it. I talk shit about all the presidents, but it's like, I wouldn't want to be in that position, though. Nah. Because it's like much. anything else. You're never right. <laughs> it Yo, doesn't you... matter what the fuck you do, what you don't do, who you bro. kill, who you don't kill, whatever, bro. You're always in the wrong, bro. You mess up once. Everybody hate you. Bro, you don't have to mess up at all, bro. and everybody hates you. That's true. That's true. That's <laughs> it. Like, bro, like, what the fuck? I did everything y'all asked me to do, and then there's a whole group of people still bitching. Yeah, that's true. Like, it, it is know. what it is, man. That's is how shit is. works. That's hum. That's humanity, bro. Yeah, for real. Uh, yeah. Speaking of humanity, you know what I mean. <laughs> We fuck some shit up, man. But we also create beautiful fucking things, too. That's a fact. So yeah. the question is, do humans create better or destroy better? Man, I honestly think we destroy a lot more than what we create. <laughs> and it's always been like that since the beginning of time. Okay? We were I feel told, like that, too. We were told not to do something. And we still did it, and we fucked some shit up. Well, the thing is that you know humans aren't ever gonna agree. <laughs> never. They're never gonna agree, and that's where war starts from. Yeah, because you're like, this part of the world is like, nah, bro, this is what we're gonna do, and then this other part of the world is like, well, we're gonna come into your fucking place and tell you what to fucking do because we don't want you living like that. And then they're like, fuck you. <laughs> Who so are we're you? gonna come over there and fucking do the same, and then yeah. like. 10,000 years later, there's still fucking war. Yeah, because, because, because Ricky <laughs> like, fucking killed this guy's uncle and fucking and Jimmy. The, nobody fucking really knows the history, bro. Yeah. They just tell you, it's like whatever your fucking parents tell you, it's like, oh, well, you know, your uncle fucking Bobby got killed by some fucking guy over there. And then you're like, oh, well, fuck those guys. Yeah. And then like, now everybody's like at war still. Like, fucking for no. some shit that probably never really even happened. Never happened. <laughs> and they're probably burning fucking pages out of the fucking history books you know what i'm saying like we don't know what the fuck's going on like all we have is word of mouth yeah bro that's, that's and then crazy. like a lot of a lot of history that's been rewritten bro yeah changed and shit. it's been changed up and shit but i mean you could always find the, you could always find the real history out there and shit bro it might be harder but you could do it i'm pretty sure they got a chamber somewhere with a whole bunch of fucking information like real information that they hide from us oh yeah you know i mean stuff like that for sure um, there's a lot of stuff that we like to hide, man. You know what I mean? Nah, real talk. Us, Humans are really yeah. secretive, bro. Yeah. As a as a whole, like, like the people that really run shit, bro, they're not out here putting that shit out there. Nah. They're not out here putting their business out there, like what they're doing, where they go, yeah. what they're what they're researching and shit, like. Nah. For real, they keep that like, shit to bitch, themselves. You don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> How do you think I became rich? 
Nah, real talk. Not for real. Successful. There's some information that they have in their brain that you guys don't have. Real shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, real but shit. a lot of that, a lot of it is finessing, bro. Yeah. Finesse game has to be on point. Like, finesse, like, like for real, like, a lot of these successful guys, bro, is yeah. just, they're smooth talkers, bro. And self-confidence. Yeah, self-confidence. You walk in the room and you're like, I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Yeah. And I'm going to teach you what the fuck I'm talking about. Yeah. Even if you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. You just got to look good yeah, saying it. <laughs> you look good. You yeah. fucking say it with some confidence and they're like, oh, look yeah. at this guy. Yeah. He's fucking smart, yeah, I man. Swear, I swear He's to God, like... I've done some shit like that. <laughs> I've been, you know how I was working at the cigar lounge. You know I'm selling cigars. There was a couple cigars I didn't know. Facts. But you know what? I acted like I knew it. Hey. And it got me to. You talk out of your ass. Sometimes you win. And you confident about it, bro. Unless you he right. knows what you're talking about, and he tries you, and you know he just, <laughs> you just sometimes you 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 might look like an asshole. You know what I'm saying? If you, know. Yeah, if they catch you. Somebody but, will definitely call you out for yeah. sure. Look at this fucking guy. This guy doesn't know. He's a fucking about. idiot. It's fucking <laughs> you lying to me, Ricky? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> nah, fuck that, man. Nah, for real, bro. But crazy shit is, man. I, I know I know a lot of my boys that got married recently, you know what I'm saying? They're in fucking relationships and shit like that. Congrats. And yeah, congratulations to all of them, man. For, for real, real for real. It's a beautiful thing. But um but yeah, man. Nah, it's beautiful, but question is, uh, do married men get hit on more than single men? Oh, Ooh. I don't know. In my personal I opinion, think so. Bob, I, I think, think so. so. As soon as a girl sees that ring, they want. I don't know it. what it is about the female mentality, bro. They yeah. want what another girl has. That's true. They want to destroy it's weird. it. If I don't have it, I'm gonna destroy you. Or they're like, like, <laughs> not even just that. It's yeah, not always yeah, that, but yeah. they're attracted to what other girls are attracted to. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, as soon as she sees that. A girl's attracted to, enough to you to marry you. She's like, oh, he has to be a good guy. He has good qualities she about to know him. Why. She want to know why. Yeah, that's a fact. That's true. That's a fact. Oh uh, man, what is it, man? Does he have we a big fucking? Find, we, we does he have married, a, Does he have a big corn on the cob? Does he fucking? <laughs> what is he like? What is he doing? Like, does he does he make money? Like, what? Nah, there has fact. to be something. Does he take care of shit? Does he take care of the bills? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Does he hit that sh- the does cheat trade? You does, know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, hey, that's a big bro, factor. Like, Bro, that, listen, That's bro. a big factor. If sex ain't right in the relationship... I'm just going to start wearing ain't a Ain't going to be no relationship. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's a fact. I'm just going to start wearing a fucking fake ring. I'm going to be like, baby... Piece of shit, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to start wearing a fucking ring. I'm going to be like, I'm married, baby. This is my kids. Nah, when Toby has I kids, I'm going to be like, this is my son. <laughs> 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 bro, you're not nah. you're not gonna borrow my dog's kid. Nah, nah, he has a blockhead. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Fucking, nah, I was serious. <laughs> nah, nah, he has a blockhead for sure. Nah, for real. And then a block neck to fucking hold that shit up. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking crazy. Love nah, you, Tom. One day, man. One day, bro. There's a lot of time, bro. We have we have a lot of time on our hands, man. You know what I mean? Fact. If we don't die young. Nah, bro. You know odds I mean? odds are. In your favor, to be honest. Yeah. The statistics are in your favor, bro. Most people aren't going to die young. Most people are going to live out a decent length of life. Yeah. Like, you got to take advantage of it, bro. Yeah. You got to start planning for that time. Yep. Because honestly, that's one of the scariest fucking things to me, bro. Real, real shit is like not being ready when I'm about to die. Like not being able to take care of myself, not being able to pay somebody to be, you know, be a yeah. hospice and shit. Yeah. Like. That shit scares the fucking living shit out of me, bro. Yeah. And that's why I'm planning for the future, bro. Because I know that when... You know what I'm saying? Nobody takes care of you, bro. No. I've known people I left their own fucking parents to die. Literally. Like, yeah. dead, dead ass. Like, they le- left them at a home and never came back for them. Yeah. yeah. So, it's like, you got to prepare for even that. Mm-hmm. Like, people be like, oh, well, I have kids. It's like, you're blessed to have kids that want to take care of you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because some kids don't give a fuck. They don't care about you. They don't give a fuck, bro. Nope. They go, they run off, they make their own life, bro. And when you die, they're like, oh, well, you know. Yeah. I know people that got kids all over the world, and they don't even talk to them. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, and that's like that. sad, bro. Yeah. That's sad, bro. Yeah. That's why I be taking my ass to my mom's three, four times a week sometimes. I don't give a fuck yeah. what it looks like to people. Mm-hmm. I'm going to take advantage and, you know, spend some time with her, bro, because... You never know, bro. Yeah. Real shit. Yeah. And pe- yeah, just like that, man. That's another one. Instead of love, you could spend be spending time with family because it's too late. Facts. 
And yeah. that's the sad shit, bro. A lot of people that have, like, died and came back from life say that, like, in those last seconds, bro, that's what they were thinking about. They were thinking about their family. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, the people they love and shit like that. You're never thinking about cars and fucking jewelry and nah. fucking airplanes. Like, you're sitting there thinking about all the people that you care for and all the people that are going to care when you're gone. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, crazy shit, man. That's it, man. That's it for Real talk. That's how the cookie crumbles. That's how the cookie fucking crumbles, dog. Yep. But yeah, dog, we appreciate everybody that's rocking with us, man. Go ahead and like, subscribe, share this thumbs joint. Up. You know what I'm saying? Hit that notification bell. Thumbs up. Yo, and man. let us know what you guys want to see us give away at a thousand yeah. subscribers. We appreciate everybody that already subscribed. Mm -hmm. And we'll we catch you, you on the next one. We love y'all. Peace. Peace.